Welcome to the homework for lesson five. It's grade three, module two. Write your name here. Do that first. And we have a timeline here. Abby spent 22 minutes working on her science project yesterday and 34 minutes working on it today. How many minutes did Abby how many minutes did Abby spend working on her science project altogether? Model the problem on the number line. So we you could do this with subtraction or addition, maybe because you have your two numbers, right? But it says right here, it's part of the directions, we have to model it on the number line. And write an equation to solve. So those two things we have to do. So on the number line, we have to add 22 it's all together so we have to add the 22 to the 34 on a number line so we start with it we could start with the 22 and then add the 34 or we could start with the 34 and add the 22 they're add-ins so it doesn't matter which one we do first usually it's easier to start with the larger number and add the smaller because we're basically we're going to be counting on for this uh, but i'll just take the 22 first so I think that's how most people do it because they see the 22 on the left and the 34s on the right. So we go from left to right. So here's our 22. 22. And we're going to count up 34 from here. 22 and 4 more is going to get you right about there because 22 and 4 is 26. Right, that's four more and this is what I'm doing it's I'm taking this 34 and I'm thinking of it as 30 and 4 so I'm going to add the 4 first and now I'm going to add the 30 three tens at a time so this is the 22 I've added the 4 and now I'm going to add the 30 three tens so 26 and 10 36 that's one of the tens and then we have 46 that's another 10 and then 56 56 minutes now you notice that this is not a timeline this is not a really a the time like the timelines we've had there's not a time of day here because it doesn't it's not labeled two o'clock or three o'clock or anything like that uh, these these are we're just counting up minutes on a timeline on a number line oh and we have to write an equation so there's our number line and our equation was just what we did 22 plus 34 equals 56 all right now we've done everything we need to do number two Susanna spends a total of 47 minutes working on total of 47 minutes working on a project how many more minutes so it's how many more then Susanna does Abby spend working so Abby had 56 minutes and Susanna had 47 so if Abby has more Susanna has less so draw a number line to model the problem and write an equation to solve so if we have to find the difference between well, I would much rather use a tape diagram to do this but it says to use a number line and it might be easier for you to think of your equation first but let's just start with zero and we're gonna go to a whole hour here which will be 60 minutes right we're counting minutes 10 20 30 should be about in the middle but right in the middle 40, 50, and it's not exactly straight or perfectly spaced, but it's close enough. We can work with it. That's all you need. It's a math picture. Uh, so we need to find the, dif the difference between 47 and 56. Because right? Abby, I'll write that here so we can see it when I scroll up. Abby has 56 and Susanna has 47. So we have we have to count up from 47 to 56 or count backwards. So we're going to mark this part of our number line. That's 40, 45, 
and this is 55. We need 56, so we have to mark this up. 56, 57, 58, 59, and there's 60 right there, already there. So, Abby has 56. There's Abby, A. And Susanna was 47. So that comes after 45. So we need 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50 is already there. So we're going to have 45, 46, 47. That's Susanna S. And we can see we have one, two, three, one, two, three. This is three here. All right, and this is five more. And then we have two more. Well, wait, that's 56, right? Oh, I should have labeled these, shouldn't I? That's 47, and this is 56. It's one more. So here's our equation. The 3, right, this 3, plus 5, that was this 5, plus 1, equals 9. You could have also written for your equation, 56 minus 47 equals 9. Either one of those, you can write them both. But we still needed our answer statement. Uh, how many more minutes than Susanna does Abby spend? So Abby spends more time. How many more? So Abby spends... We figured out it was nine more minutes. On her. On her project. And that's everything you need to have. You don't have to have both of these equations, but you got to have one of them. And you have to have this number line. And you have to show something like what I just did there. And three. Peter practices violin for a total of 55 minutes. Total of 55. He practices 25 on Saturday. How many does he practice on Sunday? So the weekend is two days. And it doesn't tell us here that we need to use a number line or that we need to write in a... But this is, we are going to have to RDW this because we always have to do that. The other ones we had, they told us we had to use a number line for our picture. So we had a number line. There's a number line. And we could use a number line for this one too. If they're working for you, please draw a number line. But I am going to do, since we have to figure out, a total, we have a total of 55 and... We know one of the parts is 25. We, you know, a picture could be a number bond, right? We can have total, total of 55. And 25 SA for Saturday. And what we don't know is how much time for Sunday. You could have a number bond like that, or you could draw a tape diagram too. I'll just use for variety sake. I'll leave the number bond. Uh, and so now we've drawn a picture. And we're going to write our number sentence and write our answer. 55, right? Since this is the, this is the total, subtract one of the parts. 25 equals. And maybe you don't, don't even need to write these out vertically. You might just see that you're going to subtract five ones from five ones and you're going to subtract two tens from five tens you're going to have 30 left here you might be able to just see the digits like that but if you write it out vertically you'll see what i mean 55 25 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 2 3 you're gonna have 30. so peter
fact, it was 30 minutes on Sunday. Now, the key piece of uh, information that they don't tell you in this is that a weekend, a weekend is a Saturday and a Sunday. So there's two parts to a weekend. There's the Saturday and the Sunday. Probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. Marcus Gardens. So Marcus is this usually a boy's name. So he's a, he's a gardener. He likes to spend time in his garden. So Marcus, he, uh, he pulls weeds for 18 minutes, waters for 13 minutes, and he plants for 16 minutes. How many total minutes does he spend gardening? So to, we have to total these up, right? We read it. We're going to draw it, and we're going to write it. So we have, we can make a tape diagram with this. And this would be um, well, I'm going to label them inside weeds for 18 and then he waters for 13 more and then still going he plants for 16 and this is what we have to find, the whole thing. So we can see we need, now we've drawn it. We need to add 18 plus 13 plus 16. And mentally, the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking at these ones digits. And looking for a way to make 10. I don't see an easy way to make 10 right there. There's no partners to 10 that I'm looking at. So um, we could write the whole thing out vertically. You could do it like this. 18, 13, 16, and add them all at once. <clears throat> The 8 and the 3 make 11. And then 6 more would be 17. 7, and you got to regroup a 10 up there. 1, 2, 3, 4. 47. Marcus. Spends. 47 minutes gardening. And more Marcus. He wants to watch a movie that starts at 2.55. Starts at 2.55. It takes 10 minutes to drive to the theater. So he, his gardening project is all finished. Uh, his movie starts at 2.55. It takes 10 minutes to drive to the theater. If he starts the yard work at 2 o'clock, oh boy. So this counts the yard work, the gardening that he just did in the problem above. Can he make it on time for the movie? Explain your reasoning. So you need more than a yes or no here. And let's look at all we just did. And let's, if we draw a timeline here, that'll be, that will show our reasoning. That will be our explanation. So let's see. The movie starts at 2.55. So if we make a timeline that goes from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The movie starts at 2.55, right? So that's in between. We'll make our 
or a halfway five, or five marks or five minute marks here. So this is 255 right here. 255 and it's when the movie starts. M for movie. 10 minutes to drive to the theater. So we got to go back. We have to find out. We have to go back in time. Oh no, wait a minute. What do we have to do? Uh, 10 minutes to drive theater. He starts the yard work at 2 o'clock. So here's the 2 o'clock. He starts the yard work, right? And it takes him 40. We know from the other problem, it takes 47 minutes, right? So that takes him from 4 to 2 o'clock. 47 minutes. It takes him all the way to 2.47. This is 45 right here, so 46, 47, 247, here. I'll label this 47 minutes. And then uh, 10 more minutes, so from 47, 10 more minutes is 57 here to it would be 257 but the movie starts at 255 so he won't be on time he'll be two minutes late Marcus will be two minutes late for the movie so in real life that two minutes uh, it probably just be you know watching ads or previews and he, he can actually be there he's not gonna miss any of the movie but he's gonna be two minutes late for when it says the movie starts so he'll be two minutes late for the movie and our explanation is the number line right there uh, Arelli takes a short nap after school. As she falls asleep, the clock reads 3.03. She wakes up. So she falls asleep at 3.03. She wakes up at this time. How long is her nap? So this is, what time is this? This is in between the 3 and the 4. This is the hour hand right here, right? Which usually I mark that in, in red, right? There's the hour hand right there. In between the three and the four, which means it's three something. And we can see the minute hand is on the six. I usually mark the blue for the minutes. And that means that's 30 minutes, right? Because it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 minutes. That shows 30 minutes. So we have to get from, you might know what to do right away. Uh, so we start at 303 is when she fell asleep. So that's one, two, three right here. So when she falls asleep, two minutes gets you to the five minute mark. And then we can just go every two numbers is going to be 10 minutes, right? So that's 10 minutes there. Then there's 10 minutes there, and then from the 5 to the 6 is another 5. So we have our picture, and we're going to write our number sentence. 2 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 equals, we can see that's 20, and the 5 and the 2 is 7, so it's 27. Really's nap is twenty seven minutes long. <laughs>